once you have your hair, legs hip distance apart, roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forwards. Keep your eyes closed. And just feel the ground underneath you. Try to lift your toes and spread your toes so that you can feel grounded and have your palms facing forwards. Inhaling and exhaling. And put an intention for your practice today. Intention for your practice can be something you would like to achieve, some personal goal, or you can also offer your practice for somebody that you care for. Bring your hands towards your heart and bow to yourself saying Namaste. And release, good. So shake your legs, shake your arms. And this class, I won't be able to go through each of the parts of the sun salutation and explain what they mean, but I will, we will go through the stages of it so that you can find what you need to do, especially because we have a few new people here. So I'm going to first demonstrate the whole sun salutation and I want you to stand in Samastiti here in, in mountain pose with your hands by the side and calling to attention, not like standing to see what I'm doing, but completely connected and connected with what I am doing. Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, has 12 poses. We inhale and bring the arms up and exhale and fall forward. When you fall forward, your knees can be soft. Then we inhale and we flatten the back. And it is a little bit like a back bend because we are extending forwards, the shoulders go back. Hands by the side, we bring right leg back and we can release the knee onto the floor. Then left leg back, knees onto the floor, chest come over the wrist and we lower down. Then we come into cobra, shoulders back and down, hands by the side, cobra. And then downward facing dog. Then we'll need to bring the right leg forwards. So we will bring the leg back, giving a bit of a stretch to the left calf muscle. And to come forwards, you need to move your chest. If you try to bring your foot between your hands from here, you won't be able to. So you come onto the ball of your foot and bring your leg forwards and bring the foot there. If the foot doesn't reach, you move it with your hand. Hmm? Then you have a foot forward, flat back, exhale, inhale up and exhale, release. Okay? Are we all good with that? So regular students, your job is to work with one breath per movement. So as we are going to start from the beginning, we're going to do it from the back of the mat. Instead of having to walk back and walk forwards, we're going to stay at the back and just focus on the going forwards. Then we will walk backwards. When I was dancing tango, one of the most difficult things there were were to walk back because you can't see where you're going. <laughs> So for now, we're going to walk forwards and see where we're going. Feet onto the floor, spread the toes, arms by the sides of the body. That's it. Inhale, arms around and up. Baby back bend and exhale. Soften your knees and fold forwards all the way towards the ground. Shake your head, not your head. Inhale, straighten your legs and your back extends. Exhale, soften your knees as you walk forwards towards the top of the mat. Bring your weight over your wrists. So we are in a plank position. The hips are not down, neither they are up. 
Bring your knees onto the floor. Bend your elbows 90 degrees, halfway. Shoulders away from your ears. And then let your belly release towards the floor. Chin can be on the floor. Inhale, cobra. Arching back. That's it. Exhale, release down. Tuck your toes under. You can come through your knees. Down dog. Breathe deeply in down dog. And walk your hands back towards your feet. Release your upper body. Grab hold of your elbows. Let in your hips. Stretch your lower back. Stretch. And then roll up into standing. Your head is the last thing to come up. When we're going slow in a sun salutation, we are able to roll up and down. When we're going a little bit faster, we will want to just um, keep the head aligned with the back. So inhale, arms up again. Exhale, fold forward. Soften your knees. Let your chest go towards your thighs. Inhale, straighten your legs. Your hands can be onto your shins and Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, hands onto the floor. Walk all the way forwards. This week we were looking at our elephant and down dog. So from plank, bring your knees onto the floor. Chest comes over your wrists. Bend halfway. And then release down towards the floor. Shoulders back and down. Cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Down dog, remember it's a inverted V. Your heels go towards the floor. Your hands are pushing onto the ground. Index finger, middle finger and thumb pressing together. And walk your hands towards your feet. Release your knees. Grab hold of your elbows, sway a little bit side to side, and then release your elbows, come up into standing. Arms up and hands towards your heart. Lovely. Shake your arms, shake your legs. Grab hold of your hands, make interlace your fingers and just rotate your wrists and in the other direction. So it's more about the wrist than the elbows. That's it. And release. So the wrists are, we're going to stretch the fingers just a little bit as well. The wrists are quite, stay standing, John, it doesn't matter. I only come to the floor so that you can see my face. Otherwise, it's a disembodied. <laughs> and bring your hands forwards, palms facing forwards. And bring them back and let your elbows rest by the side of your chest. And bring it forwards and back. One more, forwards and back. All of these are very good exercises for people that are on the computer all the time. Good, you can just on time, Charlotte. Let's go to the front of the mat now. So doing the traditional Surya Namaskara A. Hands by the side of the body. Your feet are hip distance. So if you don't know your hip distance, you bring your heel to the arch of the foot and where the ball of the foot is, that is exactly your feet, hip distance. You can also bend your knees and you can see your big toes from where you're standing. Your little toes are covered by your knees. That is your anatomical hip distance. It doesn't mean that you couldn't be standing with your feet together. But when you stand with your feet together, sometimes it impinges on the lower back. So for now, we are learning. We are using an easy way. Inhale, arms around and up. Baby back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Hands by the sides of the feet, release the head. Inhale, straighten your legs. Hands onto your shins. And... Shoulders away from your ears, expand. The head doesn't have to come all the way up, but the back is straight. Exhale, hands by the sides of your feet. Bring your right leg back. 
Open your chest. Release your back knee. You can release the back foot. And breathe. Make sure that you are connected with your breath. That's it, kids. Hands by the sides of the foot. The left foot comes back. It's easier to bring the leg back if you are in plank. Then you can bring both knees onto the floor. Bring your chest forwards, bend your elbows, and release down towards the floor. Legs release, hands by the side of the chest. Inhale, cobra. Elbows by the sides of the body, shoulders away from the ears. Release down. I'll give you an alternative for cobra. So in cobra, if this is too much, you can bring your elbows forwards and just be on sphinx pose. What you want to avoid in cobra is to be halfway. So one halfway can be here, where your elbows are straight and your hips are up and your knees are on the floor. Cobra has the hips on the floor, shoulders back and down, elbows towards the ribs. Upward facing dog has the hands on the floor, knees off the floor, feet on the floor, and you're arching the whole back. So these are your options. Sphinx, cobra, or up dog. Be clear on what you're doing. Okay, now bring your hands by the sides of the chest. Come through your knees, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. In down dog, we normally stay for a few breaths, five breaths is the traditional way. Your head is between your arms, your heels are towards the floor. Your lower abdomen is in and up, as if you were a whippet dog. Inhale, bring your right leg up, just parallel to the floor. Toes facing downwards. Look towards your hands. Come onto the ball of your foot and the right left foot. Knee towards the chest. Keep it there for a moment, pushing up and bring it back into a three-legged dog. Push it back into three-legged dog. Leg is parallel to the floor. We are not bringing the leg high up, just parallel. Inhale, come onto the ball of your foot. Bring it forwards. With the abdominal exercises we've been doing, you should be able to do this. And you should feel it and bring it back. Three-legged dog. Don't give up. One more. Look towards the hands. Bring the knee towards the chest and then bring the foot between your hands. Oh, that's it, good. Open your chest, have your knee onto the floor. Take a moment to catch your breath, very good. Then we're going to bring the back foot forwards. Lift the back foot, bring it forwards. Hands into your shins, straighten your back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, release. One of the objectives of sun salutations is to raise the heat in the body. Hopefully you can feel it, I can. <laughs> so, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, extend your back, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, hands by the sides of your feet. Bring your left leg back, opening your chest. Release the back knee. You can release the foot. Take a moment to feel the opening on your hip. Then we're going to bring the right foot back into plank. And that's easier if you are with the back leg up. Knees onto the floor. Chest over your wrists, come halfway and stay there. Breathe. Stay, elbows by the sides of the ribs. Breathe and then release. Choose your back bend, either Sphinx, Cobra, or Upward Facing Dog. 
Roll your toes down, dog. Breathe. Inhale, left leg parallel to the floor, toes facing down. And come onto the ball of your right foot. Come forwards, bringing your knee towards the chest, pushing your hands on the floor. Your back is strong. And bring it back. Inhale, come forwards, push, push the hands away from the floor. Exhale back. Inhale forwards and bring the foot between your hands. Open your chest and lower your hip. Breathe deeply and bring the back foot forwards. Hands onto your shins, flat back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, come all the way up and exhale. Release. Close your eyes, stay in your standing pose. And just feel the flow of that sun salutation throughout your body. Sun salutation A, that's what we did.